We're now going to talk about the heart attack and one of its treatment regimes, which is the use of aspirin. As we age, we're all at risk of developing artery disease, and in particular coronary artery disease, as a result of our lifestyle choices. Smoking, high fat diets, low exercise regimes, diabetes, are all factors that may lead to the increase of atherosclerotic plaques in our arteries. This also increases our risk of stroke as the pathophysiology is just the same. All these factors are made worse by smoking and stress. The atherosclerotic plaques develop inside the arteries until they reach such a point where the artery is narrow and the blood flowing through the arteries becomes less and less and less. At some point the atherosclerotic plaques may rupture. The contents of the plaque is highly thrombogenic and it immediately causes platelets to stick to the plaques and for blood clots to form inside the arteries. Now if this happens inside a coronary artery it will cause blood to stop flowing to the cardiac muscle beyond the point of the obstruction. This can often lead to a cardiac arrest if the occlusion is in a major artery. As part of our management regime for a myocardial infarct, we must obtain an ECG, establish whether there is ST elevation or T wave inversion, or sometimes the ECG may look completely normal, certainly in the earlier stages of a heart attack. We must also, unless it's contraindicated, administer aspirin 300 milligrams. The best way to give aspirin to a patient having an MI is to ask the patient to chew the aspirin and to rinse it around their mouth with a little bit of water so that it gets absorbed through the buccal mucosa. This way it's faster acting and it helps to stop the platelet plug forming around the ruptured plaque. It's safe to give patients 300 milligrams of aspirin if they are already taking 75 milligrams as a daily dose anyway.